everyone once again welcome to the episode of eclectica the different news so today i have someone wonderful to present uh, before you uh, my childhood friend uh, miss lopa mudra mandal and with love we call her lops she is former miss kolkata mrs india iab first runner up and brand ambassador uh, and she has won multiple awards which are which now if i start speaking then i think i will only speak about her and apart from that she is a entrepreneur she is a fashion fashion designer image consultant and life coach pageant coach grooming expert and social activist she is also the brand ambassador of many national and international brands and ngo style and design for tollywood and bollywood celebrities so i welcome you lopa uh, today in this episode and thank you for joining me today so uh, i uh, well before we start our conversation i would like to tell my viewers that i know you from my childhood group as friends uh, and that makes me very proud when, when i see your growth as an entrepreneur so my first question to you would be uh, like being uh, born in a small town like district town where you and me both were born from there and from the childhood i knew your inclination towards fashion or the glamour world so my first question to you is that uh, it's not a question but i can really share your uh, journey with us because i think many people will get inspired by the things from you first of all thank you gargi dr gargi goshami for inviting me today it's it's an absolute pleasure to be here with you uh well to start with as you uh, rightly mentioned that we know each other since childhood from our hometown and you have seen me during uh, my school days that i was a very introvert child i used to be bullied by all the students in our school we were in a queer school if you remember so all the boys used to bully me they used to beat me up they used to abuse the shit out of me so every day i used to come back home crying and also i was a very 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 average student so my father being a doctor and my mother being a housewife but with a vision they were always very worried about my future uh, but you know what will our daughter do she's when uh, you know she's always getting bitten up you know she doesn't have a personality she's a very average student what will happen to her because you know uh, i i used to belong from a very self made uh, family and uh, middle class family uh, so that used to you know hit my parents very badly that uh, what will be my uh, uh, my future what will be their daughter's future so anyhow so that was one episode during my childhood but my i always had i always had my immense immense inquisitiveness towards fashion so you know when uh, when i uh, when i was probably in class 7 uh, or 8 obviously that time i was little better than my earlier school days so that time there was a, a, a you know daily uh, program that used to be aired on z tv called lakme khoobsurat z lakme khoobsurat so you know i used to follow that uh, program uh, very very i mean uh, i used to i used to follow that program on a daily basis thoroughly so i used to i used to learn you know how uh, how those days uh, people in bombay they used to dress up they used to style up uh, how smart they were how they used to deal in the social life in the social circuit what was social circuit what was fashion what was uh, walking on the ramp what is fashion so and also if you remember ftv so when when we got cable, cable channel uh, in our home uh, i i somehow caught with my parents that i should have uh, you know sub, uh, i should have subscription to a fashion tv channel in my room in my television and you won't believe they of course didn't allow me but i somehow managed because if you remember uh, those days if you have one connection the other room yeah connected some way you can get that yes. yes so that's how i managed uh, you know all these channels uh, in my room in my uh, room television and that's how you know i used to 
do research i used to try to learn things from those because otherwise we didn't have any opportunity way back in my hometown at barampur that time still i wonder if there is any so that's how i started uh, the journey now when i came to calcutta uh, for my further studies which was for graduation so uh, you know so uh, thankfully i was in a college uh, where fashion is uh, i think one of the utmost important uh, aspects apart from studies and anything so uh, it was a very fashionable college and all the fashionable people all the rich kids used to come to that college so that was again an inspiration to me so i used to again notice all the other you know students in the college or my fellow uh, uh, students like how they used to dress up where all they used to visit what all they do what is their daily life uh you know what is the social life you know that's how dheere dheere i kind of gained knowledge once i gained that knowledge now my second uh, uh journey was now how i come in the picture how right. i uh, how i become uh, uh, if not like them at least uh, better for which my like parents from, yeah. yeah like from observer to implementer uh, exactly rightly said because that was the whole purpose of my parents sending me here in calcutta right yeah so uh, uh, so that's how i was trying to learn i was trying to absorb and then an opportunity came uh, from my college uh, uh, to participate in miss calcutta again i was of course not prepared for it but then my college uh, administrators they kind of literally forced me because i was tall i was very slim uh, and by that time i become little bit stylish and all that so they literally kind of forced me trust me that pageant uh, it was not like it was not like a pageant uh, that happens nowadays but at right. least whatever it was trust me that particular pageant actually changed my life my changed my life. so what happened after i uh, won that obviously opportunity started uh, pouring in so uh, you know i started modeling in uh, uh, shanunda femina those okay. days both hindustan times telegraph uh, times of india that time was uh, not there it came a little later so what happened so from that pageant and when i actually started the professional modeling which of course was a hobby never a profession so you know i got new platforms i landed up meeting new people people from all strata of the society so that again gave me a lot of exposure to know people to know about society to know about fashion everything so that's how the journey started and i think i was also very lucky you know that uh, opportunities uh, you know kind of started pouring in like me connecting with the right people me connecting uh, with right people on the right time me connecting at the right platforms that was a miracle but that just happened maybe that was made for me so uh, you know god just connected me so all that helped me uh, you know uh, uh, to be where i am today rest of course i had to struggle a lot i had to go through a lot and let me tell you even even uh, when i came to calcutta and i evolved or, or while i was evolving it was not again easy for me because why will calcutta allow any outsider or anybody from a small town coming and taking their position <laughs> nobody does that so that was again a huge struggle huge fight it still is but that time it was much much more but again i fought i i actually fought and i had to gradually prove that uh, no you are not superior than me and i can do better than you in any way but you know what uh, what gargi uh, we people we uh, uh, you know people from small town we have confidence and that confidence is not over confidence here uh, people uh, yeah here people in cosmo city you know they they have over confidence so that's the difference between small town people and the cosmopolitan people we all have the confidence you no know, we can do it and we have the urge of doing better absolutely you know, people already think that we don't need anything we are the lord we are superior so that's that, that you know that gave me a big opportunity to actually you know defeat them in their uh, con- concept and whatever it is so yeah that's how it started 
but as i uh, mentioned that you uh, are actually right opportunities and right people came into my life on right time and i'm very 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 thankful to all those people to all those opportunities that actually helped me to you know uh, uh, to have a live session with you today honestly <laughs> and of course those criticizers those criticizer those yes. people who just gave me an opportunity uh, or uh, tried their best that i do not get Get any opportunity? I'm extremely thankful to them. If if they wouldn't have done all this, I trust me, they wouldn't have motivated me or encouraged me to be whatever small I am today. Thank you. Uh, so that was wonderful to listen from you. And uh, like my, like as a though though I don't know at all anything about fashion, but then I would like to uh, be you being a fashion coach. So I think you would be the best person to give us some uh, tips and tricks uh, regarding grooming uh, or how we can be more fashionable and things sort of things like that. See, Gargi, I'll tell you something. You know, grooming is very, very important in any individual's life. Whether you are from fashion, you are not from fashion. That's a material. Like, suppose you are a doctor. Okay. <laughs> Now, let me tell you, if if you are well groomed in terms of your physical appearance, your mental appearance. your overall appearance as a package trust me even your patients will get a lot of confidence from you not as a doctor only but also as a support because doctor sure. as a as a profession it's not only treating people uh, through medical science it is also healing Absolutely. people Absolutely. so so yeah so if you just make a bun and you know wear some stupid clothes which of course you can afford but still think you think that oh i am a doctor i have to just go and sit in the chamber or in hospital so why the hell do i need to check up and you know why do i need to do my eyebrows why do i need to do a hair style that's a very very wrong concept first of all you need to groom for yourself trust me the moment the moment you groom yourself you feel more confident that you are that gives you immense confidence trust me apart from giving you confidence the moment you get that confidence it helps you with your communication skills because you have the confidence and the moment you are groomed you know you will feel very good from within so grooming first is for yourself not to satisfy others it is to satisfy yourself first because see very like, well said right yeah because see, when you have a good haircut or a nice facial you actually feel nice and refreshed No, very true. Very true. Yeah. So, so grooming first is for yourself to satisfy your inner self. Second is in your respective profession, or even if you are a housewife sitting at home, still giving an impression to the other person opposite you is very very important. Because the more groomed you are, the more confident you are, the other person opposite you also get very good vibes, positive vibes. Okay. So it's very interconnected. So grooming is not only about that whether you are in fashion, not in fashion, or uh, probably you don't socialize, you don't go out. Doesn't matter. You have to do it for yourself. True. So properly grooming is the utmost important for any individual, men, women, housewife, professional, not professional, NGO workers, doctors, professors, teachers, anybody. First. for yourself second to give that good and positive feeling to the other person who is right opposite you whether it is at your home or in your professional area that was wonderful uh, of course actually uh, i mean uh, it was an eye opener uh, from you because i think the points that you brought up is very true and very practical uh, like for example in our profession we hardly you know uh, just don't think about until it comes to conferences or uh, when we go for a public speaking but as you say yes grooming uh, is very very important part for not only for others but to make oneself more confident so uh, lopa uh, coming to the concluding part uh, uh, i i think I'll, i'll just interrupt you once like i'll give you a very small example so there have been many people who probably doesn't li uh, like uh, too much of makeup or doing makeup or uh, you know dressing up there are many many people now during this covid 19 when they are locked up at home mm -hmm. and they have nothing to look forward because it's basically uh, uh, we are living a life of uncertainty and it's very gloomy trust mm -hmm. me they have also started decking up and posting videos 
You're getting the point. They, now they also want to feel good. What do they yes. do? Because there is no other option at the moment apart from feeling good from your within. For that, they are applying makeup. They are taking up and posting videos. True. That, that, that's a very nice addition that you do. Uh, so, Lupa, uh, coming to the concluding part, uh, I will just uh, want you to send, uh, give, us, uh, give us a message to our viewers because I know you personally know you as a very positive and very entrepreneurial person, very encouraging in any endeavor, any new endeavor. So, I would like to, uh, you to encourage our viewers um, uh, to recognize you. Uh, first of all, a uh, 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 warm, warm welcome to all the viewers of Eclectica and thanks to my dear friend Dr. Gargi for uh, initiating Eclectica and also having me over. I hope you guys are indoors, you guys are safe uh, and uh, for you, for all of you, I will have a very simple message. One is never in your life think that you cannot do anything or something there is nothing called impossible you just need to go out of your box and try second is please please be very very confident do not be overconfident but be confident because confidence is something trust me that will that will keep you go in any kind of situation on this earth like i myself have gone such situations in my life it is only that every night I have kind of gained confidence on my own. No, 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 no. It's okay. I will. No, I have to. So, you know, be confident. And most importantly, uh, try to be a good human being. Because if fame, fortune comes, goes, you you can't take anything along with you. See, 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 see how disastrous uh, conclusion of the COVID patients all over the world. I mean... I don't want to repeat, all of us know what it is all about. So, you know, try to be a good human being. Take care of your parents. It's very, very important because they have taken care of us when, when we need their help and support. So our elderly parents need our help and support because now they have become a little child as they have, uh, you know, aged enough. Now they cannot, they, now they're dependent. So please, yeah. please, for God's sake, take care of them and be a good human being and i just hope that you all uh, combat covid 19 and i just wish and pray that none of you get affected and you can all, and i just pray that you all uh, you know uh, lead your normal life very soon so so do we we and i think yeah that would be my message to everybody it's very simple normal practical message that i want to give people i don't want to give the scripted uh, message honestly yeah thank you Lopa. thank you so much for joining today and i hope uh, in future we will have more sessions with you on grooming as well as other stuff uh, uh, because you are a life coach uh, too so uh, for today uh, uh, i will uh, take your leave and thank you for joining uh, eclectica thank you okay so that was lopa mudra mandal uh, with us uh, in Eclectica today. I hope all of you enjoyed this session and more to come in Eclectica. So keep a watch and uh, subscribe our channel and share it with your near and dear ones. So bye for today.